and know now how hard it was, how stressful it was for my parents and how much work it was. And and I'm just so thankful to them for going going through all that for me and for all the kids who are transsexual who now don't have to go to court for that. The family court forbids the identification of all children and their families who go before it. For this reason, Four Corners has gone to great lengths to disguise Jamie and her mother, mm -hmm. using facial prosthetics and digitally altering their voices. I don't want to be pixelated because that would kind of be like I'm ashamed. And I'm not ashamed. I just need... It, just my identity is private for the moment. Jamie's family challenged the family court's jurisdiction to approve medical treatment of transgender children. Did you get your assignment in? Yes. Good. From the time he could walk, Jamie never identified as anything else but a girl. It was very gradual, because at the start I was just wearing girly dress-ups at my house and then I would go outside in the wild world just as a boy. But gradually, I started to change things a bit, like growing my hair longer, trying to wear boys' clothes in a girlish way. Primary school was terrible. The teachers didn't understand. There were some really mean kids. I think school became very difficult for her because school is very gendered and to have to fit into the role of a boy was extremely difficult for her. She would come home from school saying, Mum, I go to school disguised as a boy and it's so hard trying to be a boy. And that language is very indicative of the, the deep understanding of herself as female. When she was around about seven, she started to say suicidal things. Like what? Um, I wish I was dead, essentially. And that's a devastating thing to hear as a parent of a child who's very young. So we knew that it was time to really do something. Until the talk of suicide, Alison thought her child may have just been going through a phase. Now she knew she had to do more to help her. I love her with every fibre of my being. She's very insightful. She's very clear. She's not precocious. So I believe her and I've believed her all along that she's needed to do this. It's been difficult, but because she is so true to herself, she needed at least one person to have her back. And because she is the amazing person that she is, she's got way more than one person. Watching her daughter's back has come at a cost. I did come across other parents at the first primary school who were outraged by my support of Jamie. Um, Why? Uh, I think they thought that I was doing it to her um, for I don't know what reason. Um, Perhaps they thought that I had wanted a daughter, um, and it, that's not the case. How natural does it feel to be a girl? Very natural, the same as you would feel being a girl, because you just are a girl and there's nothing else to it. 
What would your life be like if you couldn't be who you are? It would be very dark, very bleak and very short. Short? Yeah, very short.